Welcome back to another Sunday night show. I'm gonna go over some earnings to prepare you for this upcoming week. And outside of that, I also wanna talk about some changes that I've made in terms of my overall portfolio. So um, before we get started, I'm drinking passion fruit, LaCroix. I'm still going alcohol-less. I've been trying to lose weight uh, and so far so good. Hopefully this is my last week on my diet, we'll see. Anyway, let's get right into it. I think the action in space is super muted right now. Um, and AMC is still a, a cannon, you guys. It is still a very tradable stock on a daily basis. You can see this move $3, easily 10% a day. It might not go anywhere in particular, but there's a move that you can trade on a daily basis. I'm not removing AMC. Still watching Moderna and watch AMD and Nvidia. AMD, after it announced earnings about two weeks back, it has been a very tradable stock. Um, you know, a lot of people caught a big move on AMD, so still watch that. Watch Nvidia. Nvidia has uh, surprised me a little bit because, honestly speaking, I was expecting based on the valuation um, that. You know, it, it would have to need to overperform. I didn't actually take an earnings gamble on it. Uh, Frugal Tiger is very serious right now about the trading, so he's not gambling on earnings right now. After mounting my comeback, I uh, am basically, I took a long position on AM, uh, NVIDIA. Um, I'm more or less uh, out of the position, but I'll continue to trade it if the action allows me uh, to uh, trade it. And then the other two I want to mention is Bitcoin is actually nearing 50k. Uh, again, we could see if it breaks past that. If it does break past that, we can see a run higher. Um, and uh, so watch GBTC, uh, which is a, a Bitcoin kind of ETF that I would recommend trading, as well as Riot and Mara um, with Riot having earnings uh, coming out. So watch Riot and Mara. Um, anyway, the big thing that I want to talk about is a lot of people don't uh, know this is a part of my trading strategy, but periodically I add uh, a short um, uh, S&P futures, uh, ticker symbol slash ES um, to my trading uh, periodically. I did this once when the S&P was at 4,200 and I, I kept uh, sh shorting the S&P and then buying the dips short. It, it, it worked out for me despite it rallying. Uh, further. Um, but one of the things that I want to mention right now is after the action last week, I know we had that rally on Friday, um, but I actually shorted, I had the S&P, um, I had uh, several futures contracts that I shorted uh, Wednesday. Um, I covered Friday, uh, watched the market rally. I didn't buy S&P uh, through the rally. Um, but, um, you know, after covering at the lows, I actually started reshorting when the S&P hit 42, uh, I'm sorry, 44.24, and then I was back in my full short position by end of day. The reason I'm mentioning this, I'm not expecting a massive drop or anything like that. I'm not predicting a crash. No one can really do that. Uh, the tape action um, kind of represented a, a lot of times what happens in a top, which is you have a dip, at first and then you have buyers come in to buy it. I'm not saying we're at a market top, but I'm saying if there is a time to maybe take a chance on a short position, see how it plays out before you start adding, um, this is not the worst time. Fed news is this week. We have COVID. We have all sorts of fallout because of, um, I don't know if I can say this for uh, YouTube because of the war um, and the US withdrawal from that. So there's a lot to really, uh, a lot of things that can really add volatility to the markets. Um, and once again, I am uh, I'm playing things out a lot differently uh, than last year. This isn't a massive short position. It's equivalent to about four uh, S&P futures contracts, but I only shorted two S&P futures contracts and uh, basically I have 10 put options against SPY. So it gives me roughly the same exposure. Thir uh, uh, about 13 put options uh, on SPY. It gives me roughly the same exposure as just having four uh, S&P futures. 
The reason I did this is essentially the SPY uh, puts basically cap out my losses. And I honestly am scared of Jerome Powell uh, when it comes to my short positions. Uh, so I don't want, uh, you, you know, Jerome Powell dick smacked me in the face last year with uh, his massive money printing. Very well aware that that, uh, you know, I, that could happen this coming week. And uh, I'm going to cover, uh, uh, you know, if, if the trade does not work out for me, I'm covering it more or less right away, uh, trying to minimize my losses. So anyway, that's one of the key things. Other than that, everything that I've owned uh, for, for some time, Palantir, um, being large one, AMD, uh, and you know, the rest of my names, they're still there. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit of protection. This is not the worst time to protect yourself. Um, and uh, the, the four S&P futures is what I'm holding right now to protect myself overnight. Uh, I might add that um, intraday or obviously I might cover it right away if the trade does not work out for me. Anyway, um, just be prepared. There's some potential for added volatility. Let's go into the earnings. We have JD.com and Palo Alto Networks on Monday. Those are what, in my opinion, the two earnings plays to really watch out for. A lot of action in those names, earnings. Um, we have PDD and uh, Best Buy and Toll Brothers on Tuesday. I actually thought PDD's earnings was last Friday. Um, I found it on the NASDAQ website, so I think they really screwed some shit up here. Uh, there's a lot of action in PDD right now. Uh, watch this. Also, one name I didn't mention is NEO. NEO's at $36. It's well off its highs. Some people buy this as a dip or whatever. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. I took a very small position in NEO that's actually being held overnight. And by very small, I mean it's incredibly small for me. It's about 300 shares of NEO. Um, so uh, these little trades add up uh, if they go in your favor, though. That's why I maybe thought I should bring it up. Um, anyway, on Wednesday, we have Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM. This is usually a great one to play during earnings. We have Snowflake, usually. I mean, Snowflake is a recent IPO. Uh, it's a great one to play uh, during earnings. We have Autodesk, ADK. And we have Alta, ticker symbol U-L-T-A, Alta Beauty. Frugal Tiger gets his uh, face uh, products there. I, I don't know what the fuck they sell, but it's a great earnings trade. And uh, there's a couple stores here in Las Vegas uh, for Alta, but um, I, I, I don't know if they do. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know what they do, uh, honestly. Uh, I have no clue. Um, but watch that. It's a great earnings play. Um, and... On Thursday, we have Dell, we have VMware, uh, Dell, ticker, uh, everyone should know Dell. It's ticker symbol is exactly D-E-L-L, -L, what everyone knows it as. VMware, ticker symbol VMW. Uh, Workday, ticker symbol WDay. Uh, they're uh, kind of like a software that handles a lot of like the administrative tasks for onboarding new employees into your company, um, but it's a great company to uh, trade. We have that fucking exercise bike with a camera on it, Workday, or Peloton. I just talked about Workday. Peloton. I hate that company. Um, I'm definitely not using them for my weight loss regime. And lastly, we have Momo. It's, um, Momo is actually kind of a day trading speculative stock. Usually can make a very good uh, earnings gamble. Let's see what happens. And that's more or less it, you guys. It's a pretty shortened trading week. We're getting out of the bulk of earnings season. The key thing to focus on is what the hell is Jerome Powell going to do? And is he going to take down the markets? Somehow, despite me shorting the market, somehow, I don't know. I don't know. This is the best spot I've seen in a long time to at least protect myself a little bit. It's not the worst spot to take a short position. But I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, this face right here is ready to get dick smacked by the market on, uh, on Monday and Tuesday. So I'm ready to cover. Frugal Tiger is very accustomed to losing money. So till next time, thank you all for joining and uh, best of luck this trading week. I just want the money, 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 money.
money.